so many people are on television that don't know me, and they're like experts on me. You know, when Michael Jackson died, I knew him very well. And everybody was talking about Michael Jackson. They didn't know him. Well, I know him very well. He's lived in my building. Perfect gentleman. We never had one problem. He's a friend of mine. I mean, he's a good guy. You know, he's a little different. feel badly for him. Well, he's gone through a lot. Donald Trump and Michael Jackson, two of the most influential and enigmatic figures of the last century. On the surface, their lives couldn't seem more different. Trump, a business mogul turned reality TV star and two-time president, and Jackson, the king of pop, shrouded in mystery and fame. But what if their friendship was more than just a passing connection between two celebrities? What if their bond helped create the foundation for one of the most unexpected political victories in recent history? Their friendship ran deeper than most people realized. Far from the occasional public appearance or the stories the media allowed us to see, Trump and Jackson shared years of private conversations, business exchanges, and secret gatherings that went mostly under the radar. Some close to them believe they shared insights that extended beyond entertainment and touched on the art of influence, control, and even power, elements that years later would play a significant role in Trump's return to the presidency. Speculation swirls around just how far this influence may have reached. Did Jackson's influence somehow sharpen Trump's strategy? Did their private conversations plant the seeds for a vision that would ultimately blur the lines between celebrity culture and political power? In the years after Jackson's passing, Trump rose to heights no one predicted, leveraging fame in a way that few politicians ever could. And in 2024, that same charisma, some say even manipulation, may have given him an edge over Vice President Kamala Harris, securing him a political comeback that stunned the world. Some insiders whisper that there was more to their friendship than the public knew, hints of shared ambitions and knowledge kept under wraps. Rumors suggest that the public was never meant to see the full extent of their connection, perhaps out of fear that people would question just how much celebrity culture could quietly shape the highest levels of power. Was there a strategy developed over years to leverage fame and public opinion on an unprecedented scale? And if so, why was it hidden? Today, we'll explore what could be one of the best kept secrets in modern history. We'll dig into the rumors, the conspiracies, and the stories that hint at a hidden influence. One that might have redefined the rules of both politics and fame. Their friendship didn't happen overnight. The story of Donald Trump and Michael Jackson's connection begins in the bustling high stakes world of 1980s New York City, where they both stood at the peak of their respective empires. Trump dominating real estate and Jackson reigning supreme in pop culture. Their worlds collided at elite gatherings, charity events, and exclusive parties, but their bond ran deeper than the average celebrity acquaintance. Some insiders say that from the beginning, Trump saw potential in Michael that went beyond his music and performances. He saw a kindred spirit in someone who understood the mechanics of fame and public influence. Trump welcomed Jackson into his inner circle, and their friendship quickly became a regular sight in New York's most exclusive venues. At Trump Tower, where Jackson occasionally stayed, the two shared more than just laughs. They shared insights into navigating the pressures of fame and managing public perception. Witnesses have said that their private conversations often revolved around the power of influence, how one could subtly control the narrative and maintain an image in the face of intense public scrutiny. It was a topic that fascinated them both, and it became a theme that would shape each man's public life in different ways. But some believe there was something more strategic about their connection. Rumors swirled that Trump saw Jackson as more than just a friend. He saw him as a model for how to leverage fame to captivate the masses. Jackson, a master at staying relevant and controlling his image, was constantly experimenting with his public persona, an art that Trump would later refine in his own way. Those who knew them well say that Trump was watching, learning from Michael's moves in the entertainment industry, and storing up tactics that would serve him years later. Their relationship was marked by a mutual respect for each other's talent, but there was also an understanding that each man held a key to influence that the other wanted to master. While Trump helped introduce Jackson to influential business figures, Jackson gave Trump a front row seat to the workings of global fame, a kind of influence that transcended business and seeped into the cultural consciousness. For Trump, this exposure was invaluable, planting the seeds for the persona that would later catapult him from the boardroom to the Oval Office. In their early friendship, Trump and Jackson weren't just two powerful men enjoying each other's company. They were carefully observing each other's methods, perhaps unknowingly building the framework
groundwork for Trump's eventual rise in politics. Little did anyone know that these encounters and conversations, these shared secrets of fame and influence, would one day help shape Trump's pathway to becoming one of the most polarizing political figures of the modern era. Michael Jackson's life wasn't just about music and dance. He held an influence that extended far beyond the stage. Behind his iconic performances, Jackson was deeply embedded in powerful social and political circles, often mingling with heads of state, activists, and influential politicians. He had an unparalleled reach, and while his fans saw him as an entertainer, insiders knew that Jackson wielded a level of social influence rarely matched by any other celebrity. His relationship with powerful figures like former President Ronald Reagan and South African leader Nelson Mandela gave him an edge that few pop stars had. He could reach people across political divides and inspire loyalty on a global scale. Though Jackson's political ties remained mostly out of the public eye, he had a history of using his platform to promote social change. From advocating for racial equality to drawing attention to global crises, he made subtle yet impactful statements. In songs like They Don't Care About Us and Earth Song, he addressed issues of injustice, poverty, and environmental degradation, broadcasting powerful messages to millions worldwide. To Michael, fame was more than just applause. It was a tool that could spark real-world change. And those close to him knew that his influence was something he carefully cultivated, a blueprint for how to leverage a public image to drive social awareness and even political change. It was a level of influence that didn't go unnoticed by Donald Trump. Trump observed Jackson's ability to balance his entertainment persona with his quieter, influential role behind the scenes. Some say this is where Trump learned an invaluable lesson, that the world of celebrity could intersect with the realm of politics, allowing a public figure to wield immense power without ever holding an official title. By staying close to Jackson, Trump had a first-hand view of how to use one's celebrity to sway opinion, shape narratives, and impact conversations on a national and international level. Rumors have persisted that Jackson's friendships in high places were more strategic than they seem, that his connections allowed him to subtly push messages and influence public figures in ways the public never saw. And Trump, always keenly aware of the value of influence, took notice. He saw in Jackson a masterclass on how fame could be more than entertainment. It could be a pathway to real power. It's said that these observations stayed with Trump and later influenced his own political strategies, embedding the idea that by carefully crafting one's public image, even a celebrity could shape national conversations. Trump didn't just see Jackson as a friend. He saw him as a figure who understood the delicate art of influence, a skill that could be wielded to sway hearts and minds. Decades later, when Trump would take the stage as a presidential candidate, he would put these lessons into practice, blending celebrity appeal with political messaging in a way that few others could rival. Jackson's influence had, perhaps unknowingly, equipped Trump with tools he would later use to capture a nation's attention and, ultimately, sway an election. While Michael Jackson was building his legacy in music, Donald Trump was making waves in an entirely different sphere. By the 1980s, Trump had already secured his place as a real estate mogul, but he wasn't satisfied with business success alone. He wanted to be a household name. Trump knew that in the world of high-stakes influence, real power came from visibility. Inspired by his connections with entertainment icons like Michael Jackson, he saw an opportunity to bridge the worlds of business and showmanship, crafting an image that was larger than life. As Trump worked to establish his brand, he drew from the celebrity world's playbook positioning himself not just as a businessman but as a public figure in the media. He appeared on talk shows, made cameos in movies, and even hosted his own television shows, culminating in The Apprentice. This transformation from businessman to entertainer wasn't a coincidence. It was a calculated move that drew directly from his experiences in the company of stars like Jackson. Trump understood that in America, fame held its own currency. The more public recognition he garnered, the more leverage he had, and he began mastering the art of capturing headlines and sparking public interest. Some say Trump's strategy was influenced by Jackson's unparalleled control over his image. Jackson had taught him that a carefully crafted persona could sway audiences and build loyalty, and Trump observed closely. By merging the theatrics of celebrity with the authority of a businessman, he created a unique brand that was both magnetic and polarizing. His immersion in the entertainment world provided him with the skills needed to command attention, a tactic he would later apply to political rallies, where he delivered 
delivered messages with the energy and spectacle of a performance. Through these years, Trump wasn't just building a business empire, he was setting the stage for a future in politics. Those close to him observed how he cultivated his persona to appeal to the public on an emotional level, tapping into their desires, fears, and frustrations. It was a move that few politicians could replicate, and it became Trump's secret weapon. Where others saw him as a celebrity dabbling in business, Trump was envisioning something much larger, a pathway to national influence that, with the right tactics, could translate into political power. Decades later, when Trump announced his run for the presidency, it was clear that his years in entertainment had been more than a diversion. They were his training ground, Trump's mastery of media and spectacle, elements he had honed in the presence of cultural icons like Jackson, became the foundation of his campaign. The man who once studied the art of influence alongside the king of pop was now bringing that knowledge to the political stage, blending fame and authority in a way that made him nearly untouchable. In a landscape dominated by career politicians, Trump stood out as someone who had cracked the code, wielding fame as a form of power that blurred the lines between celebrity and politics, a fusion that would ultimately help secure his return to the White House in 2024. As Trump's persona evolved, some began to speculate that his long-standing friendship with Michael Jackson may have influenced more than just his image. Jackson had mastered the art of appealing to millions, his every move analyzed and celebrated on a global scale. He understood how to build loyalty, create intrigue, and influence perception, all skills that Trump would later adopt as he transitioned from the world of entertainment to the political stage. Their friendship wasn't just a collision of two iconic figures. For Trump, it may have been an education in celebrity influence that extended far beyond the red carpet. Throughout the years, Trump watched Jackson's impact firsthand, observing how his friend wielded fame like a tool. Jackson's ability to command attention, even in controversy, was unparalleled. He knew how to turn headlines to his advantage, whether through his groundbreaking performances or his carefully orchestrated public appearances. Some say that Trump saw Jackson's approach as a kind of blueprint, a way to create a bond with the public that went deeper than mere popularity. By learning from Jackson, Trump began to understand that the celebrity effect wasn't just about being known, it was about becoming an untouchable figure whose influence could transcend industries and eventually even politics. Critics have suggested that Trump's use of spectacle and charisma in politics echoes Jackson's approach to fame. Just as Jackson crafted his performances to evoke emotion and loyalty, Trump's rallies were designed to energize crowds and capture media attention in ways that traditional politicians struggled to replicate. Where other candidates relied on policy and protocol, Trump tapped into the public's fascination with personality, spectacle, and story, a method that some believe was influenced by years of observing the King of Pop's career. This strategy gave Trump a distinctive edge. His approach blurred the line between political messaging and entertainment making his campaign feel more like a movement than a traditional bid for office. Those familiar with both men suggest that Jackson's friendship showed Trump how to connect with people on a larger-than-life scale, making his public persona feel iconic and almost mythical. The influence Jackson had on Trump's understanding of celebrity may have, in some ways, laid the groundwork for a political style that redefined what it meant to campaign in the 21st century. It's possible that the seeds of Trump's future political strategy were planted during those years of shared faith Fame, media mastery, and mutual understanding with Jackson. Together, they unlocked the potential of celebrity influence, a power Trump would wield decades later in his campaigns, ultimately making him a figure whose sway was as much about entertainment as it was about politics. In the 2024 election, Donald Trump's star power became one of his most effective tools, setting him apart from traditional candidates like Vice President Kamala Harris. His strategy this time around was more than a typical political campaign. It was a media phenomenon on, powered by years of crafting his image through the lens of celebrity and spectacle. Trump didn't just campaign, he captivated, leveraging his experience from both his business empire and his reality TV days, and drawing from lessons learned during his friendship with Michael Jackson, who understood the power of a magnetic persona. Throughout his campaign, Trump drew enormous crowds reminiscent of his celebrity rallies, blending political messages with the energy and theatrics of a performance. Unlike most candidates, he turned each appearance into 
to an event, capitalizing on the public's fascination with his persona as much as his policies. This approach kept his rallies lively and dynamic, making his campaign feel like a movement rather than a series of speeches. Trump's background in entertainment allowed him to read his audience, adapting his messaging to resonate on a level that felt both personal and exciting, just as Jackson had once done with his fans worldwide. Trump's team understood that in an age where media presence is as powerful as policy, his celebrity status was an asset few could compete with. Where Kamala Harris focused on her platform and experience, Trump relied heavily on his star appeal, capitalizing on his larger-than-life image to overshadow traditional political tactics. With a mix of charisma and controversy, he continued to dominate headlines, capturing the public's attention in a way that was difficult to counter. This approach, some believe, drew directly from his friendship with Jackson, who had shown him that control over one's public image could be just as influential as holding office. In the final stretch of the election, Trump's rallies became a spectacle in themselves, drawing unprecedented crowds and media attention. His ability to blur the lines between entertainment and politics, something he had honed over decades and that his connection to Jackson had helped refine, turned into a major advantage. Voters who felt disillusioned with traditional politicians saw in Trump a figure who represented something more, a cultural icon who had mastered the art of influence. His star power helped him connect with the public on an emotional level, ultimately paving the way for his return to the White House. For many, Trump's strategy in 2024 was a testament to the power of celebrity influence in modern politics. His return was fueled not only by political acumen, but by an understanding of how to wield fame, a skill he learned and perfected with the help of those who shaped his early years, including the king of pop himself. The friendship between Donald Trump and Michael Jackson left a unique legacy, illustrating the potent influence that celebrity power can have on both culture and politics. Their connection set an early example of how fame, when wielded strategically could break traditional boundaries and affect areas far outside the entertainment industry. Trump and Jackson's shared understanding of influence and image management laid a foundation that would become increasingly relevant as the lines between celebrity culture and political authority continued to blur. For Trump, Jackson represented a model of global influence. Jackson had shown that fame could transcend borders, beliefs, and demographics, reaching a level of cultural presence that felt almost universal. Trump took these lessons lessons to heart, recognizing that a well-crafted public image could carry as much weight as conventional authority, even in the political arena. This insight allowed Trump to build a following that felt more like a fan base than a voter base, loyal to his brand and captivated by his charisma. His years in entertainment and proximity to icons like Jackson had helped him realize that in modern politics, the allure of celebrity could be just as powerful as policy proposals. In today's political landscape, Trump and Jackson's legacy is felt through the growing presence of entertainers and public figures crossing into political roles. Their friendship showcased the potential for a celebrity's influence to reshape public perception and affect real-world decisions. Many believe that Trump's approach marked a turning point, reflecting a shift where voters began responding to candidates with compelling personalities, relatable stories, and strong media presence, qualities that Jackson epitomized in his career. The era of Trump and Jackson showed that influence could be amplified far beyond the arenas where it started, demonstrating that fame itself could become a kind of power. In the years that followed, their friendship would be remembered as more than just a high-profile connection. It symbolized the convergence of celebrity and authority, shaping a legacy that would resonate with future generations of public figures looking to merge the worlds of entertainment and politics. The 2024 election highlighted the enduring impact of celebrity power on modern politics, with Donald Trump's return to the political stage showcasing just how deeply entertainment influence has become woven into the fabric of a American elections. Despite Kamala Harris's strong policy background and experience, Trump's strategy drew heavily from his celebrity roots, a tactic he had honed over decades alongside influential figures like Michael Jackson. In a campaign that combined his understanding of public spectacle with political messaging, Trump managed to appeal to a broad base, captivating audiences in ways traditional campaigns could rarely achieve. Trump's star appeal offered him an advantage that seemed more resilient than policies or platforms. His campaign became a blend of entertainment and rhetoric, positioning him as a candidate who knew how to capture attention. 
deliver impactful moments, and keep his name in the spotlight. Some experts believe his long-standing connection with cultural icons like Jackson played a significant role in shaping his unique approach, equipping him with an understanding of how to wield influence and reach people on an emotional level. This phenomenon isn't limited to Trump alone. His approach in 2024 reflected a larger trend where the influence of celebrity and media presence has increasingly become essential for political success. In Trump's case, his years in entertainment bolstered by his early connections, helped set a precedent for the way modern campaigns are run, merging the worlds of celebrity and politics into a powerful force. His win in 2024 underscores the shifting dynamics of political influence, showing how the legacy of celebrity power continues to reshape not only campaigns, but the expectations of leaders in the 21st century. In conclusion, Donald Trump's comeback in the 2024 election showcased the enduring power of celebrity roots in shaping modern political success. His victory Victory wasn't just about policies or conventional political strategy. It was the culmination of years spent building an influential public persona, blending his identity as a businessman, television star, and ultimately a political figure. By drawing from the lessons of his celebrity connections, especially from his long-standing friendship with Michael Jackson, Trump demonstrated how a carefully crafted image could create a bond with voters that transcended traditional campaigning. Trump's understanding of media dynamics, honed through years in the spotlight, allowed him to connect with the public on a level that felt both personal and larger than life. This approach blurred the lines between politics and entertainment, giving his campaign a momentum that traditional political figures like Kamala Harris struggled to match. His rallies were events, his messages were sound bites designed for viral spread, and his persona drew audiences beyond the usual political circles. Ultimately, Trump's comeback reflects a growing trend where political Political success is influenced not only by political experience, but by an individual's ability to captivate, influence, and maintain a constant presence in the public eye. His 2024 victory underscores how his celebrity roots provided him with a unique edge, reshaping the landscape of American politics and setting a precedent for future candidates. The fusion of entertainment and politics, once seen as unconventional, has now become a powerful strategy, one that Trump perfected and that may very well be the new playbook for political influence in the modern era.